long way, you feel me? Like, goddamn shit, when I first started getting high or whatever, I, I used to smoke blunts. So then it went from smoking weed to smoking angel dust. And you know what I'm saying? You can never know when somebody puts something in your drink. Hey y'all, I'm here with my man Daryl. How you doing, man? Fine. So yeah, man, just tell them about you. Like, how was your your upbringing, Daryl? My upbringing, um, shit, um, I came a long way. You feel me? Like, goddamn, shit. When I first started getting high, or whatever, I, I used to smoke blunts. So then it went from smoking weed to smoking angel dust. And, you know what I'm saying, you can never know when somebody puts something in your drug if you don't know yourself, for yourself. Because, you see what I'm saying, it's not like somebody just then passed it on to you. So, what I'm saying is, you get what I'm saying, like, from, from doing drugs to knowing, like, what, what, how proper people use them. Like me, I'm different, you know what I'm saying? No snatching, you guys. Like, when I first used the, the drug they call dope, train, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, no snatching. I smoked a cigarette right after I got off E. And I know the feeling because if you can't do this, you can't do this. So check this out. You know what I'm saying? Like, the difference is the struggle of doing drugs, battling, like all the other shit that come with like like see what i'm saying like me coming a long way like like i know it's hard for me to make money but at the same time i don't use it to like take advantage of the fact that you know what i'm saying if i know i gotta go out here and get it i go out here and get it and you know what i'm saying but i, I mean i'm still out here but one day i want to be a, i want to be famous and be a rapper and my want my dreams to come true far as like if I if I wanna be a stay-at-home father or anything, you feel me? Like I figure like from doing all that, you know what I'm saying, like somewhere down the line, that is no one's job. So who's to tell me like what to do and how to go about it, you feel me? Because it's not like you do something first and you don't get another result far as if you get it for cheap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A one-time thing, you feel me? Like, and me every day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still need a job far as, like, to get away from all of it and keep me away because, you know what I'm saying, I'm not the type that could go out and relapse, you feel me? Because... You know what I'm saying? I know what come with, I know what come with it. And far as me being different, to tell you the truth, I'm 33. When I was 16, I smoked a real laced cigarette to do it, I think I believe. But it didn't send me left field or you know what I'm saying? Like it didn't send me left field and I felt kind of blown. So every drill that I've done, you know what I'm saying, I try to I try to like do it the best way I can so I have no reason to go back to it. So like being said, even though we legal, like the shit still come with throat cancer, all that, you feel me? Like me, like I've seen when I roll a blunt, damn the vein still attached to the cancer paper on the other end of the joint. I done broke the whole thing off. So I believe, like, like no giggling, I can't figure that I think that I have cancer, I don't have cancer because I think I don't because from what I done seen me do through it. And the difference is I don't smoke them no more. So I smoke the Cigarello, the Dutch Master Cigarellos and the difference is when I crack a shell, mine might be different, but at the same time, somebody else don't realize uh, the fact that they think 
that something is naive about it or anything, you guys. Like, any more questions? Yeah, man. Hey, do you tell us, like, for instance, like, how long you been on the street or on and off on the street? I've been on the streets for, like, a year now, like, since last May. I've been out here in the streets, like, I mean, hotel rooms and everything, like, that's what I have to do. Like hotel surfing, yeah. in and out, in and out. Yes. Alright. Like, what's some of the difficulties that come with that? The difficulties is, you know what I mean, everybody ain't gonna do, give you what you're looking for, so, you know what I'm saying, you gotta find the best way to keep 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 your money going because you see what I'm saying if some if you don't got it what can you do like you know what I'm saying and that, that yeah, you can yeah, do if you ain't got it right yeah you right hey but did like, and I really want to know this like how was your your childhood like what kind of childhood did you have my childhood it was real good y'all like tell the people about it quick I mean the only thing was a lot of my friends they don't do what I do, you feel me? The friends I have, I guess you can call, like, some of them call them weak or whatever, but... What, squares? The, yeah, squares and all that. But, you know I'm saying, I don't know what... I, I couldn't tell you. I'm from Virginia, you guys. Like, right here, I'm from this, the heart of Virginia, like, Richmond, the city. I'm not from the city, but I was born in a Richmond hospital. After that, I went to Henrico. And then I came, I, I lived out here or whatever. You came then, from a two-parent home? Yeah, yes, yes, I came from a two-parent home. I had a good life. The only thing was, when I got older, my mama got tired of me. And, like, she didn't, I guess she kicked me to the curb. But, see, the thing is, I never understand my mama from time, from time to time because, you feel me? She just, I call it hypocritical. I don't know what nobody else call it. But that's when I think somebody think they think they know something about you or some shit. Like know what to say to you before even anything go on. Like so I just don't listen to my mom. So now, I mean, me coming up from when I was a child, no different, but I mean, like, I wanted I wanted to do everything I'm doing now, but the only thing when I was younger, I wanted to be a rapper. So with the rap, like how that's going for you? Um, I wrote my first song and that was it. Like I haven't did any research on how to write another song, but I think I got the idea of it because the only way I could do it is if the song I wrote go along with the beat. Yeah. And if I could backwards write the, the words and turn my words around to see what I figured I wrote through the beat, then I think I can do it. Well, D-Man, I wish you the best. Um, do I have your, your permission to put this on YouTube? Yes. Well, D-Man, take your time. I appreciate your time, brother. And uh, if one last, one last question, like if you could go back to, let's say, 16, what would you tell um, yourself? I would tell myself, um, what would I tell myself? Um, um, if I was 16, I told myself, don't, I tell you, tell myself and the kids, don't be a dope addict. Because it's not good. And people get hooked. And I, I don't, I don't use it no more. But the thing is, I still smoke weed or whatever. But dope thing, because you don't know who's worse than who. Because everybody will ask you that question if they ever heard that you say, Oh, I've gotten off E. They're going to ask you, which one you think worse, a crackhead or a dope fiend? And I'm neither one, so I'm good. Hey, brother, I appreciate it, man. Hey, D, be easy. You too.